Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to showcase Drifter's abilities and how to play her. Let's jump right into it. The Drifter is a melee based survivor and you unlock her by recycling 6 drones in a single run. She has 4 skins to start with and 2 unlockable skins. One is by finding her secret prism, which if you're curious on how to find said prism, I do have a video on that. The link should be in the description and there should also be a card showing up on screen right now. Her other skin is unlocked by completing the Judgment Providence Trial as Drifter. Her primary attack is called Blunt Force, and it is a close range melee attack that has a 3 hit combo, and each hit of this combo will generate this resource called Scrap, which Drifter can pick up and that will fill her scrap meter, which her other abilities use. Her main secondary skill is called Cleanup, which will toss out some of her scrap as 4 bouncing and piercing projectiles with a small chance to spawn special projectiles. These special projectiles have a chance to cause debuffs such as bleed and slow, and also can have a chance to critical hit. This ability has some great crowd control potential and will proc on hit items quite a lot. Her unlockable secondary skill is called Scrap Cube, which is unlocked by completing the Perilous Descent Providence Trial or collecting 300 items as the Drifter. This ability will use some of her scrap to create a cube of scrap that can be pushed around and doing so will also damage enemies in its path and it does actually do some very nice damage and you can also shatter this cube to do some damage to nearby enemies. Her main third skill is called Suffocate, which will slam her bag into enemies and stun them and if the enemy is under 20% HP, they will be consumed and turned into scrap, including bosses. Her unlockable third skill is Tornado Slam, which is unlocked by getting 20 temporary items in a single run. This ability will have Drifter spin around wildly, hitting any enemy it comes into contact with. You can also use this ability to cross large gaps because it also increases your speed and lowers your gravity. Her main fourth skill is called Salvage, and this ability is the real bread and butter of Drifter's kit. Once your scrap bar turns yellow like this, you can use this ability to spawn four temporary items. And if you have the Ancient Scepter red item, it will spawn 6 items instead. Her unlockable 4th skill is called Recycle, which is unlocked by completing the equivalent exchange Providence Trial or by completing 25 stages as Drifter. What this ability does is when you have enough scrap, you can take an item and reroll it into a different item. And if you have the Ancient Scepter, it will reroll the item and also give you another temporary stack of that item. Now that we've gone over her abilities and how to get them, I will say my personal favorite loadout to use with her is Scrap Cube, Suffocate, and Salvage. Like I said earlier, the Scrap Cube does actually some very big damage with being pushed around, especially to bigger enemies like the bosses, the Magma Worm and Gilded Worms especially. Each cube will also draw the aggro of the enemies, so you can use the cube as a distraction if you need. Suffocate really helps to stay at max scrap, so you can use Salvage off cooldown basically. The stun is also nice if you just need a second to breathe. And salvage, I mean, there's not much to say about salvage. When you use it, you will get four temporary items, which while yes, they are temporary, getting four items every 30 seconds basically is insanely good. Speaking of items, the items I personally look out for when playing Drifter is stuff like the Soldier Syringes. You're also going to want a lot of healing items and items that let you tank damage like the Hermit Scarf, Topaz Brooch, Tougher Times, Prophet's Cape. You get the gist. Another item I strongly suggest on Drifter is the Toxin. What this item does, when you pass through an enemy, they will get debuff and take 30% more damage from all sources. So yeah, that is the Drifter. And if you manage her scrap well and get some of the items I listed, she becomes insanely good. I hope you have fun if you decide to try her out, and I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit those like and subscribe buttons, and also most of the footage in this video was recorded live on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash torax109. Come chill out if you want more Risk of Rain Returns content and more. Have a good one guys. Peace.